Hey everyone, Big Mac here. Welcome back to our Let's Play of Super Metroid. So, if you guys remember in my last part, I was doing some weird stuff going on in uh, Criteria outside by the ship. Uh, I decided let's go ahead and start up again there. Uh, I've been trying to troubleshoot it. I really don't know what the problem is. For some reason, my video capture card does not like the pretty clouds outside. So. I wish I could explain it to you guys. So what I'm going to have to do is I'm just going to have to be very methodical and slow and explain what I'm do while I'm out here. So I already moved off to the side of the ship and you can already tell that the game's already gone to quite a big, bit of a lag. So what I did was I just moved off to the side of the ship and I'm waiting for the video to catch up now. Eventually it will, I've noticed that much, but I mean seeing as how much time it's taking just for Samus to finish recharging. I mean, seriously, Samus, you can you can start recharging. You can stop recharging any time now, please. And again, with the picture being a little jumpy, I, I really don't know how to fix that either. I've tried it on different systems. My PS2 it doesn't do that. My GameCube it doesn't do that either. So I'm not really sure why. Just on this on the super on the SNES, it's uh seriously, Samus, come on, catch up with the program. I'm tired of waiting. There we go, finally. So, you know, I, I mean, I've been here talking for a minute while I've been waiting for my video to catch up. So this is obviously not going to be a very uh, useful uh, procedure in the long run. So I'm going. What I'm going to be doing during this this playthrough or let's play is I'm going to be just be minimizing my time out here in uh, Criteria for as you know as little as possible. So, all right. It looks like the video is finally caught up with me, which is about about darn time, you know. So there we goes. See, it finally caught up with me. Great. Okay. So what we're gonna do really quickly is we're gonna uh, burst through the wall that's over here on the right side using our speed boost, because I don't want to deal with all the stupid um all the stupid uh what you call it, bombs that hit. You can. Blow the, oh, oh, blow the place away with. So I'm just gonna do a speed boost through that really quickly. And yeah, and you guys will notice later if I can even get to that part later. But it just seems like it's this bottom half of the world that with the gray and the white alternating clouds. I d wish I knew why this was happening. I really do. I don't get it. I really don't get it. And I've tried. Uh, disconnect. I've even disconnected the cable from the uh, capture card, and it's still and it's still trying to catch up to this point in the game. So I don't know why. Um, I really don't know why it takes so long to do this, but it does. So all right, looks like it's all right. Back up to where I was finally. All right, now, now it's finally back to a live feed, which will be, again, gone in two seconds. We're just going in through this door and getting out of here, finally. So, like I mentioned I would do last time, is I am going to go through a uh, wreck ship, which is why we're going back over this way now. Uh, not cool. It's too far, we went too far. Oops, there we go, come on. Come on, Samus, there we go. We just, and we discussed that whole thing last time, too. So again, here we're going to have to deal with the stupid clouds. I picked up the missile pack that was done here, and I would pause this, jet, this point right here. And again, I have to wait for the stupid video to load. I wish I could... I haven't really been able to think of a good way to get it to, like, catch up quicker. You know, I've tried adjusting the video feed to, you know, tried tapping it on the side, be like, hey, hey, catch up. But... Uh, and right now I'm just going back and forth on the menus in the pause screen. That's what those little noises are, but it's not seeming to help it any, so I'm going to stop doing that. Uh, there is, a, if you guys want to be a little sneaky in this area, normally you have to use, you know, the area is designed so that you use the grappling beam uh, to get to Rex's ship. Um, I've seen a couple videos actually where what people do is instead of uh, using the grappling beam, what they do is they turn off the high jump boots, so that way they're they're not hitting their head on the ceiling as much. And 
So that way, they don't have to necessarily use the grappling beam. Of course, the question is how did they get to this point that they didn't have the grappling beam? And again, that's a lot of where uh, sequence breaking comes into play. So, okay, I am seriously fed up with this uh, thing trying to catch up. I mean, we're already five minutes into the video, and we've moved like two screens. Seriously, okay, Samus, you gotta catch up. Get with the program. I mean it. Come on, Samus. I know. Wow, you are such a slow acrobat. I have never seen you move so slowly before. And I wish I don't. I wish I knew what it, you know what I could do to help fix this up a little faster. But it just seems like nothing seems to be working for you know. So what I'm okay. So I'm I'm tired of waiting for that. I apologize, guys. But basically, what I'm doing is I'm using the grappling to go across these uh, top pillars, or these top towers. Uh, above all the water up here, so that way I don't fall into the water. And great, I finally caught up to where I was before I paused this whole thing, you know, a while ago. And now what? Come on, Samus, catch up. Seriously. Alright, what I'm gonna do is, I'm outside, the bit. there's a door out here, I, I just had to describe this to you guys, I'm sorry. Um, anyway, there's a green door over here, so I'm gonna open it with a super missile, and I'm going to walk inside to... Rex ship. So I am inside Rex ship now, and Samus is taking her sweet, her sweet, sweet time. Ain't that cute? Oh my gosh, this is terrible. And I, I really, again, I, I, this is something I did not foresee uh, when I started this Let's Play. I wish I could explain what's going on here. Uh, if I could explain my, my setup, basically I've got AV cable from the Super Nintendo going through a splitter, and then I've got one signal going to my TV, and the other one going to the capture card, which is hooked up to the USB port in my computer. So that's what I'm doing to get the, so that way I can play the game at a regular speed, and then, if, and then meanwhile let it catch up. Oh, what are you, now what, now what are you doing, Samus? Now you decided to catch up? Really? Finally? How thoughtful of you. I mean, we've only been here for like two minutes just blabbing and blabbing about how speedy you are, so... <sighs> Alright, Samus, what, 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 seriously, why did it take you so long to do this? Seriously? You're so silly. The weird thing is it doesn't... Alright, finally. We're, I think we're back into a light feed. <sighs> Seven minutes later, my gosh. Okay. So anyway, we're here in the wreck ship. There's nothing going on here. There's little bugs and stuff crawling all over. Crawling all over. There's a little room over on this side. What do we have over here? Oh, just a save point, but not working. So obviously this place has no power. So when you need to find the power for a place, hey, that door's locked. And then, what, you know, if you need a place that, ah, ah, crap, crap, crap. Hey. This way. I don't think we're supposed to be over here yet. I would not consider this sequence breaking because I don't. But hey, <laughs> we found a missile pack in the ghost ship after finally like eight minutes of playing through the game and actually doing nothing otherwise. All right. So in order to keep a long story short. Uh, to find, to figure out what's going on here in the ship, we gotta, ooh, it's like we can go down this way or something. Uh, we find, gotta find the source of the power supply, and try to fix it, ooh. It's a green door, that's exciting. Uh, let's go this way. Robots! Robots are our friends. Hey, what's over, uh, excuse me, what's over this way? Oh, uh, it's a, a, a eye door. Uh, so that means that we are ready to face the second boss in this game, Fan 2. He is the Phantom of Doom. It is. Uh, again, there's a couple different ways that you can defeat him. Uh, I would recommend, since we have just a lot of missiles, I would recommend just turn on your missiles and start spamming those as much as you can. Uh, it turns out something weird happens if you use a super missile. And frankly, I don't think we want to have to deal with that right now. Uh, no one ever said this battle was gonna be fast. But... 
and spam, spam, spam. There we go. See, he's already starting to change a little bit of color. So just keep, you know, just gotta do this uh, process for a few, you know, maybe a few minutes, a few rounds. Right? Give him, give him, give him the run around a couple times. Shouldn't be too bad. Just gotta be mindful of your, uh, mindful of your missile cam, really. Uh, I, you know, we have a lot of missiles to use, so I would recommend just using that. Otherwise, uh, I would recommend using our charged ice beam. That seems to work as well. Alright, you see? Look at that. Phantom's already getting tired. And red. And, of course, we're down to about half, half health ourselves, but, well, we should be able to hold out for this fight. I mean, we should have most of our super our regular missiles, so we're pretty good. I'm gonna try something. This is not a good idea in general. But like I mentioned, Fantune does not definitely does not like super missile. So I'm gonna do, what I'm gonna try and do is kill Fantune off with a super missile. So that way we don't have any of those uh, negative side effects. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Maybe this is a bad idea. Ah, ah. Come on, I only got one super missile left. We gotta make it count. Or are you gonna Trouble. I'm in trouble. Okay. This is what happens when you hit Fenton with a super missile and you don't kill it. Uh, basically, yeah, he throws this fire wall thing at you. You can't avoid it by charging up your shot and doing that spin attack that I talked about earlier. And otherwise, you got no other option and you're gonna get hurt a lot. So, darn it, darn it, darn it. I definitely found out I was gonna kill him with that. What? No, oh, and I'm down to my last energy team, too. Ah! Oh, come on. I was one missile away from killing him. Oh. Alright, that was exciting though. I gotta give it that at least. So, checking on the time 12 minutes. Fan 2 is down, and now the Fan 2 is gone. Uh, let's see what happens. Hey, the power's back on. That's rather convenient. Whew, okay. So that, that battle wound up being a lot more interesting than I expected it to be. So, hey, the robots are on. That's nice. Uh, they don't really do much, they just kind of walk around, you can stand on them, those little platforms. But again, nothing really useful. Uh, if you go back to that way, that you get a map of this place, it's not, Red Ship is not very big, so I don't think we need to worry about getting a map for this place at all. Have you guys noticed that, that like, little green thing that attacked us earlier? Um, it was in the, what's this way? It was in one of those, like, uh, capsule things? We got super missiles and doubled our quantity instantly! Sweet! You know, I mean, there was a hidden passage up there, so what if we look around? Huh? Hey! There is something over this way, and I doubt this would have been on the map either. So, let's check it out. Hey, what, are, what is that thing? Hey, when we killed it with our, uh, hey, robot. Just gonna go around you if you don't mind. This is over here. Oh, robot's doing the dance. Not even the robot. There's like no path that we can take, except. Hey, that one worked. Two super missiles in a row. Alright, so what I'm gonna do is we're gonna fin finish up this episode by going back up to the safe spot uh, up on top earlier where we tried to save, but we couldn't, so I'm gonna just go back up there, stop there, and that'll be the end of this video. So, again, I apologize for having to deal with all that garbage with criteria. I really don't know why it's doing that. Uh, I've tried troubleshooting. Eh, we can't go that way yet. So, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to stop here, call this a video, and this is Big Mac saying, later!